this is Gali Gofar and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, happier and healthier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, our quote of the day is, I have had dreams and I have had nightmares, but I have conquered my nightmares because of my dreams by Jonah Salk. Every challenging situation or challenging person that you have encountered in your life was perfectly aligned for you to become a better version of yourself, to reach your true potential, and to find your gifts that were always there within you. And once you find these gifts, the trials in your life will help make you better so that you can go ahead with making your life a blessing that it was meant to be. You are exactly where you need to be, even though it may seem light, light years away from where you desire to be. There are stages in life that we must pass in order to reach our true potential and our life path. And the more we have to endure on the way, the more potential we release if we do endure the hardships and become stronger through our challenges. Obstacles will always be in the way of our dreams. Jim Rohn said it said it best when he said, don't wish it were easier, wish that you were better. And Benjamin Franklin said that most people die at 25 and aren't buried till they're 75. Most people live mediocre lives. They give up on their dreams because it is so hard to reach them. But who said that hard was bad? Someone made this up. Imagine how your life would look like with the thought if your thought was opposite, that hard was actually a positive thing, that the harder it was, the higher the prize at the end. How would your life be different with this small change of perspective? How much happier would you re really be if you were doing what was right for you? If you knew with your whole heart that you made the full effort to make this life the best life for you? Your dreams are the strength that makes you come out stronger from every downfall you hit. Do not surrender to the difficulty. There will always be difficulties on the way. The difficulties are part of the perfection. There is definitely perfection in all of the imperfections that we have around us. Your dreams will pull you out of the hardships and make you stronger than when you went into them. If you come out stronger and smarter, then you are one step closer to fulfilling your true destiny. All you have to do is learn something from every challenge, improve something about yourself, increase your self-love and self-esteem, become a better person. You see, these difficulties and hardships that cross your path make you become more relatable. You also become more empathetic and you understand others in a deeper way. You become also more authentic with others. Your fears will have less control over you and your life, and you will become more courageous to handle even harder things. When you understand that all difficulties you meet in your life only make you a better version of yourself and more able if you overcome them with steadiness, with faith, and with inner hardiness, then you will always live in gratitude no matter what happens to you because you know that you are learning something new and that you need to conquer something within you that has been holding you back. Confront all that scares you. Confront all that you think you don't have in you to become uh, the best version of yourself because you definitely do. As I am speaking these words, my 99-year-old grandmother is in the hospital after breaking her bone and being operated on while I care for her. One of my daughters has corona. One of my properties burnt down yesterday because a renter left a candle in the bedroom on. People owe me money but can't pay me because they have lost their jobs because of the corona. Well, I also lost my restaurants due to the coronavirus and lost lots of money. But what do I do? I do the best I can every day to improve my situation, to get me out of this difficult situation. I make a plan every day and make sure that it is still good the next day. And I put in the hours to improve my current situation. But most importantly, 
I do not complain. If there is one thing that I learned from my 99-year-old grandmother, it is this. In the hospital, she was sharing a room with a 70-year-old woman. The other woman asked me, how can a person live so long? She was tired already. I said that my grandmother never complains and likes to live even though life is not always easy. In fact, my, my grandmother did not have an easy life. But her attitude is what keeps her young, and I hope that she will overcome this fall as well. I know times are hard for most of us now. This is a time to reinvent yourself if you see a need to do this. Or you could, it could be a time to improve yourself, where you need to improve your skills, uh, your skill set, and improve something within you. You know what needs to be done. It, it is a time for introspection and seeing that the hardships are there for you, not against you. Do not pity yourself. Instead, thank the universe that it has bigger plans for you and that the universe needs to see that you are up to it. Just as the army will not send you to battle before practice and training, think of your hardships as practice and training. These hardships are there to improve you and to make you more resilient. You will gain many, many rewards with this type of attitude. When you accept all that comes to you that is not in your hands and that you cannot control, with an open heart, you will truly be free. All of these hardships act as purifiers to the ego. They make you more humble and a better person and a better leader of yourself and also of others. It is time to break the chains of ordinary and become extraordinary that you were meant to be. I have heard from many of my friends that if a relationship starts out difficult and full of hardships, then it wasn't meant to be. But on the other hand, my, my lessons in Kabbalah, the deep studies within the Bible, we see that exactly the opposite is true. If something is hard in the beginning and the hardships are overcome through hard work, persistence, and love, then we have found the right relationship. If it is too easy in the beginning, then it is not right. Change your attitude to accept hard with love and gratitude because it is what makes you better than you ever dreamed that you can be. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that, at the, uh, so that your answer will help you move yourself to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where in my life am I stuck in being ordinary and suppressing my true life, my true self, and my true gifts from coming out because of fears and insecurities? This is where you will find your greatest rewards. When you overcome these difficulties and come out better than you came into them, you are free. As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answers in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over your answers and make sure you are headed in the right direction for you. So to finish this video off, the affirmation of the day is, I accept all that comes to me with love and gratitude and everything I endure makes me better and more able. I accept all that comes to me with love and gratitude for everything I endure makes me better and more able. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was empowering for you. I hope you gained value from it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel. If you like this type of content, ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. Please also visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, to help you improve your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.